Okay, let's talk about Portugal, Checha. Let's listen. Portugal, by the way, Roberto Martinez is Portugal, the only team in the qualifiers that can his love to the Euros. They won every single game. They scored more goals than anybody else. So are we expecting the same journey here? And by the way, the last seven editions, the only team as well that's made it to the knockout stages. So they just need to win it now once again. Uh, what do you make of this Portugal team? Yeah, listen, I think there's a lot of pressure on, on, on Portugal, kind of, as, as you mentioned, given their, their build-up in, in, in qualifying. Um, but I, I, still, I, I still question, as good as Ronaldo is, and uh, listen, one of the best goal scorers the game has ever seen. But as I was saying on FC during, during the week, Father Time catches up with us all. And I just wonder if that time has come for Ronaldo. But not Chaka, that he it's not just about Ronaldo, this Portugal well, team. This not, is not, a not, very not, good Portuguese not, side. Not, I, no, it's a very good Portuguese side. But again, as we, as we were discussing earlier, I, I think to go deep in this tournament, you need scorers who take those half chances, mm -hmm. who contribute a whole lot more. I thought 18 months ago, the 2022 World Cup, I'm not sure that Cristiano Ronaldo was the player that Portugal needed then. 18 months later, well, it's a different tournament. I'm not sure that Ronaldo is the player that Portugal needs now. No question. I think they get through the group and probably really easily. But are we going to... What then becomes... What then becomes a successful tournament for Portugal? Is it getting to the final? Is it getting to the semi-final? Is quarters good enough? Um, I, I'm not sure anything less than, than a semi-final and... Um, and avoiding a blow by in, in a semi-final is is can be considered even par for the course for, for Portugal, given the expectation. Personally, I just don't see them even I just, just see them getting past that. Gab. Well, wow, a lot of negativity there. Look, I I shocked <laughs> I'm ground. stuck, I'm stuck in my basement, Gab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, obviously that's one issue Shaka I think hit at Cristiano or Gonzalo Ramos I guess Shaka's not impressed by the 52 goals that he scored uh, in, in, in Saudi but um, I think for me the issue is the pieces you know we can look at this and see the big names I don't know Jao Cancelo Nuno Mendes as your fullbacks that's fine but then depending who's in front of you will they track back and what decisions do you make with your wide players, you know, it, can you carry Bruno as part of your three midfielders? He wants to be forward, and that's fine. You can have a lot of attacking players, although for me, there should always be a place for Rafael Lau, and there may not be. Um, I think it's going to be Don Hamer or Jao Felix over on the left-hand side. But you can do it if they all work hard and run themselves into the ground and so on. Can you ask that of this group of players? Are the How many of these guys are used to doing that? Um, Bernardo Silva will do it for you. But then you'll probably have to stick Bernardo Silva out wide, which, again, different kettle of fish. Do I want Bernardo Silva constantly tracking back to cover when Jao Cancelo goes walkabout? It, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting problem. It's an interesting issue that Roberto has to deal with, and it's so typical of international football because you can't make signings to fit your scheme. Mm. You have to work with what's there. And, and you're always, you always have the trade-off between talent and fit. Uh, with international football and Portugal, I think is is, is a great example of this. Yeah, well, Alami, yeah. Alami, yeah, may, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong here. Did Gab start by accusing me of being a little bit negative? <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> I, was just, I was just, I was just making sure. I was, no, no, that's all. That's all. That's all. It it's, you know what it is? Like <laughs> it was the ultimate. It was the ultimate calling of the kettle, right? Wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not negative at all, and I think Craig is very disappointed. That one of his World Cup records or one of his major tournament records, he no longer has. He used to be the only Scotland player to get sent off uh, in a major tournament. <laughs> and now, freaking Ryan Porteous has achieved as much as Craig. I know. I love it. <laughs> he will be joining this show very soon, I'm sure, after the Euros as well. Uh... But major expectations for Portugal. Uh, and we'll have to see how they do under Roberto Martinez and his former team, Belgium. Lose, of course, to serve.